Hi there, welcome back, and today we are going to talk about the new, or rather recent, Rodia Dirt Pad. Because it's not really new, what's new is this touch collection, but I decided to divide my video into two different videos to, so as to offer something that's not too long. So, let's hope I won't be disturbed this time, because we've got a new number, a member in our family, and that member is a bit intrusive, but let's try and start right from the beginning. So I'm not only going to show you the Rodia dot pad, the, the ones I regularly use and why I use them. And that's going to be interesting because basically I used to use two different formats, which is the number 16 and the number 19, and I'll explain you why. Uh, first, let me tell you that some of the things I'm going to show you are still in blisters because and they're blister because I buy them in bulks because I like them a lot and so I buy a lot of them and I use a lot of them. So let's start with the uh, beginning which is the small format. So as you can see I got the dot pads in the two colors it comes in, the black and the orange, the traditional orange color from Moria. And I've got them in two formats, the 19 and the 16. So the 16 is your basic a5 format if you take a the for example this Rodia A5 which is in the landscape uh, portrait mode then that's the exact same size let me show you it's the exact same size so these number 16 are very practical because you can use them in a simple handbag for example when I go to a meeting for work and I know I will only need a notepad and a pen, I just take my handbag and put it inside. Now, when I'm working on my desk, I tend to want to keep the pages in an A4 format, and that's why I use the nine, number 19. So, um, also, um, I have a bulk of these in the taupe color, I really love that color, and that is from the Rodeo Rama collection. I've got another one somewhere in my, on my pile in my pal, and this is a format that I do not use which is the reason why I still have it it's a number 18 which I received two years ago for a review review sorry review ah how bad French people tonic accents it's hell for us <laughs> okay so um, these are for the, from the Rodiarama collection so you can actually get the pads in the Rodiarama colors what's nice about these and the reason why I use them is because I like ivory paper with the lines and also I like the smooth kind of plastic finish that they put on their Rodeo Roma pads uh, to give you an idea it's about the same feel that you would get on the back of a Kindle Paperwhite and that's a pleasure to touch when you're reading and that's about the same and you do not get them on all the other pads so that's one of the reasons I like them so I'm going to keep using this one. So what I usually do is I take one pad and now we we'll use this fake leather cover, which is the exact same fake leather you will find on their Rodia Roma collection or their Rodia uh, Gold Books, for example. It's exactly the same. Of course, I took the orange color because it's my favorite, and that's pr practical fake leather. So let me show you because I can put it like this, and the real leather would be damaged but not this one so I use that cover I also have the cover in the big versions but and in that case the lever is different well it's fake lever as well but the, as you can see it's more textured and this is actually uh, a bit closer to what you get in the touch collection except the fake lever is absolutely beautiful in the, fa uh, in the new touch collection and that's basically on a regular Rodeo pad. That's typically what I have in mind when I remember the first of them that I used to see in my mother's bookshop. I got it in black as well and I got them with the regular classroom pads. So that is the kind of thing I would use in a classroom if I hand a page to a student. That is damn practical. And this one comes, this one is the absolute regular Rodeo pad my mother used to have with that cover with the uh, predetermined places where you are going to push that uh, let me show you on one I've already used this one 
this will allow you to do allow you to do this and it sits perfectly that's something i like something else that i absolutely love about these pads is the sangriff system oh that word is eluding me it's been eluding me for hours what is the name of that's a word i know but anyway this on a regular pad usually comes out and you can see it does come out but under the cardboard and that sangriff system makes it so that you won't get hurt because these pads I use on my knees usually to take notes and I have actually destroyed a pair of pants using these or well, not these ones but using ones with the ah oh, can't remember the name of this but yeah please someone tell me <laughs> and that's uh, the Sangriff system that's quite nice with these pads as well. Also, uh, what I use, and this one is still in its blister, are the, well, that's number 19. And the other those are from a special collection called Air depuis 1934. And it's, I'm not sure if these are still available, but I got a bulk of them, so I have plenty of them. This one is absolutely gorgeous with its black and orange. And I love how these two fit together. And this has the smooth finish of the Rodia Roma collection. That's something I really, really enjoy. And so definitely I'm not going to use these covers on these ones because the feel is so nice, so you want to keep it. That's a, well, let me show you the uh, number 18. That's a number 18. Number 18 is your regular A4, but that's a full A4. Now, these ones, they are A4 detached. So the difference is when you take the paper out, the, paper, the page you take out is an A4, regular A4. And that's the reason why I use them, because I, as a teacher, use A4 size a lot with my photocopies and, my, and all these things. So, Number 18 is not my favorite for that reason. I definitely go buy all my pads if I want the A4 size in the number 19 A4 detached size. That's a beautiful one. Also, this one is for drawing. It's an ivory paper. Let me show you with a white one so you can compare. It's a beautiful ivory paper. All the papers are Clairefontaine papers. They either come in uh, 80 gram per meter square or 90 gram per meter square which you can tell the difference um, by touch and that's an 80 and that's this one is a 90 yeah you do feel the difference so this is the 90 grams per meter square and these are both the same so this one is still in its blister for lack of use now let's come to what's interesting about the new Rhodia dot pad so let me show you again. Uh, you got the blank version, the aligned version, which is nice for uh, letter writing. You've got what I call the classroom kind of line. There, there is a name for this one, but I can never remember. You've got regular lines, and you have the traditional uh, grid from Rhodia. The traditional grid is a full size grid, 5 by 5 millimeters, and you cannot see it really on camera from what I can see, but it's actually purple. It's a nice, it's not blue, it's purple, and it's nicer than blue, it's nicer than black, it's less intrusive than black steel. The grid is not my go to. For one reason, the lines are too present for me. So I prefer the line. Blind or I prefer blank. Now, the dot pad, which is a recent answer to the new dot format, is quite nice. The person from Rodia I had on the phone uh, told me that the dot pad made no sense when she wanted to start the project in France because we were long in France to move on from the regular grid or regular lines, which are not your regular lines. Uh, these are the say yes lines we're used to, and this particular, maybe I'll show you one day what a say yes is, but that's what you get in most uh, copy books when you're a pupil. 
and so the pa uh, the dots were not obviously something people were used to in France and so starting a line called the dot pad offering a dot grid was not something quite obvious for us in France but it had s well, it was before even that it was real success in Anglo-Saxon countries so that's an, an interesting choice now in terms of colors there's also something interesting about this now if you look at the regular block it comes in orange with the nice uh, Rhodia logo which takes a huge place on the pad which was something new at the beginning of the 20th century this turns into a white one and there's a reason for this the reason for this is that at the beginning there was only the Rhodia block in black so to be a quite a modern move it was dot pad uh, with a dot grid offering all the comfort of a rhodia pad but only in black and what's funny is that usually their orange color sells more it has a lot more success than the rest and the black ones have less success now this one it came only in black and people liked it so that's your nice regular you do not get this smooth touch that's that would have been perfect but it's closer to the original one in that regard so there you've got all many many different sizes that's the thing with the rhodia pads you get them from that tiny size to an A3 size so if you want to write large uh, sheet music for example for piano pay pieces then you can do that on an A3 size right and so you got the Sangre system of course they kept the regular uh, aspect of the pad but what they offered now was sorry I made we just bought something and I needed the measurements so that's the practical use of the uh, of the grid so let me show you the uh, original grid and there you will see the difference between the dot grid and the regular grid there we go so from a distance you see how intrusive that kind of grid can be. It's a choice, it's not unpleasant to write on, but still it's quite present. Now you almost do not see the dots because these comes in purple lines and these comes in light grey color. Fact is you can Xerox these, you can scan them, you can photocopy them and you won't see the dots. And there you see them. Up close you see the grid there you almost do not see the dots but you do see the grid and that's the thing now these come uh, these are little square of 5x5 five five millimeters these are squares of 5x5 five five millimeters you just have to connect the dots actually that's, in, that's a game from when we were kids connect the dots here you can connect the dots so of course you have your geometrical patterns inscribed on these you can easily trace a cube because you've got all the lines and also you can do circles in these easily because you've got the dots helping you find the geometrical shapes because of the way our mind works and so that grid is as useful as the regular full grid and it's very discreet so what paper does this come with comes with it comes with a high grade vellum paper which is Clefontaine paper and it's 80 grams per meter square so which means it's a bit lighter than other pads that was an 80 gram uh, the Rama or I at 90 grams the ones from the air collection are 90 grams as well which I really like I think it's a nicer feel a bit thicker paper so that's 80 gram as to how it behaves on with ink so I used that pilot pen which is my favorite go-to pen with Poussière de Lune by Gierba and as you can see the paper is nice and white let me show you the color because in this one it comes with the dot grid as well but it comes in an ivory color so let me show you the difference the grey dots come stronger out of the ivory paper for some reason 
they are the same color exactly, but it's an effect of the mind, of course. And what's funny about impressions on paper is that this white paper comes out a little gray because of the gray dots. Now, if you take these ones, it comes out a light blue, which you can see. The paper is whiter on this one than on this one. Or maybe it's the same color, but the impression you get is that there is a bit of blue on this one. It's like it's a white, but it's still a bit blue, and that's from the purple lines. Now, on the grey dots, it does come a bit of a grey paper, while it's absolutely white. And the dots come stronger out of the ivory paper for some reason. So the advantage of the white paper, I think, is that your collection inks, like this one, come out perfectly nice. Also, uh, Clairefontaine has, and Rhodia pads, has a very smooth paper, which is perfect for fountain pens, and it's very smooth. So it takes some time to for the ink to actually uh, be absorbed by the paper, and you get those nice effects. Absolutely no feathering, and it doesn't show through. I also used it with the Palomino Blackwing pencil, because sometimes you have to use pencils. It's nice, but it's not perfect because it's missing a bit of a dent. The thing is, with too much dent, it would be awful with fountain pens. Now, if you want your paper to be well, or do well, with a fountain pen, then you have to make a compromise. Uh, but it still works nice with a pencil. You've got the pencil touch test, which I use sometimes. Yeah, my dear. Oh, that's the new member in our family complaining that she's alone. Little rouge. Yeah, okay. Yeah, wish to tell my belle. <laughs> That's the Panto touch test. I use this sometimes to draw. That's absolutely perfect. Very easy to, to write perfectly with this. That's absolutely perfect. Right. And so, what's about what about the orange color then? Well, the orange color was a demand. Now customers from Rhodia, who are like me, used to the traditional Rhodia pad, they complained that there was no orange color this time. Because it's the traditional Rhodia color, it's always orange, but bright orange. And so Rhodia answered the demand from their clients and their customers, and they started offering the uh, dot pad in orange. And of course, since they started with the, let me show you, with this uh, white logo because of the black background, well, they kept the white logo on the orange as well, which I think is a nice choice. Of course, I'm used to this one, but this one works fine as well, I think. I don't know what you think exactly. Also, same effect than before with the purple grid. This one looks a bit lighter than this one. I'm not sure it's actually lighter. I think it's an effect from the logo. Uh, the white one on this side, also the light of the sun coming from here, and the black logo on this one. But the color, I think, is probably the same. Yeah, see, that is, it's exactly the same. So it's an effect of the mind, probably. But that's nice. So. My conclusion for this is that is an absolutely very nice pad. If you want, like me, the A4 size, this is absolutely perfect to work with, discreet. When you scan something, it doesn't come out. So it's as if you were writing on blank paper, which is extremely nice. So definitely, uh, that's a very nice quality pad. What you get is the uh, Rhodia quality, which is always perfect. It's always perfect. And the price is actually excellent for that range of quality. And that's the thing, that's the reason why I have so many of these pads, because I use them all the time, and until I find something that's actually better, that's what I go to, and nothing else. Okay, now let me tell you about what will be in my next video. Uh, this is already to almost 20 minutes long, that's the reason I didn't talk about the touch the Rhodia Touch collection, but that's absolutely gorgeous, and that's 
for my next video and that's going to be about their new touch collection for artists which because Rodia is Clairefontaine and it's the same group you get Clairefontaine paper in a notebook moving Moleskine way behind their new collection and I actually have a kitten ow! ow, 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 ow. and she's biting my feet let me show you the new member in our family. That is red or rouge. Let me show you. That's our new little baby. Yeah, and she wants my attention. So, see you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time for the Rodeo Touch collection.